hello everyone today's topic is change of scale property okay obviously we will learn for uh, both laplace transform and inverse laplace transform so first understand when we have to use scale property suppose laplace of f of t <coughs> laplace of f of t this is equals to f of s this is given okay and you have to find out laplace of f of a t okay laplace of f of t this is equals to f of s this is given and you have to find out laplace of f of a t that means the variable t variable t is multiplied by a scalar number a okay so if the variable t is multiplied by a scalar number a then you can use change of scale property okay so what will be the result so this is equals to just 1 by a f of s by a okay that means here f of s you have to replace s by s by a and then you have to divide this f of s by a divide by a okay this is for laplace transform now for inverse laplace transform very simple if you apply laplace inverse so that will be laplace inverse laplace f of a t this is equals to laplace inverse 1 by a f of s by a okay so laplace inverse and laplace both cancelled so you are getting f of a t this is equals to 1 by a f of s by a so f of sorry that will be laplace inverse f of s by a f of s by a so you are getting laplace inverse f of s by a this is equals to a into f of okay now just replace actually this is also a formula okay but let me write the standard formula for inverse Laplace transform okay so if I replace 1 by a by a okay I am replacing 1 by a by a so you are getting Laplace inverse f of a s this is equals to I am replacing 1 by a by a so that will be 1 by a f of t by a okay and this is your standard formula for uh, scale property in inverse laplace transform okay so this is for laplace transform and this is for inverse laplace transform so again i am repeating if the variable t is multiplied by a scalar number a then you can use scale property okay for example suppose you have to calculate laplace of sine 2t actually we know the formula of sine 2t just i am explaining for to understand uh, the scale property here you can see that f of t equals to sine t and the variable t this is multiplied by or you can say the variable t is replaced by uh, multiplying a scalar number 2 okay so you can use scale property okay let's solve a problem question laplace of f of t this is equals to s by s square plus 9 this is given okay find find laplace of f of 40 okay so laplace of f of t this is given and you have to find out laplace of 40 so obviously the variable t is multiplied by 4 so this laplace of f of t this is equals to s by s square plus 9 obviously this is our f of s okay you have to find out laplace of f of 4 t so the formula is 1 by a f of s by a so 1 by 
a is equals to 4 so 1 by 4 f of s by 4 that means in f of s you have to replace s by s by 4 so this is equals to 1 by 4 s by 4 divided by s by 4 whole square plus 9 so this is equals to 1 by 4 if you simplify this you will get 4s divided by s square plus 144 okay 4 4 cancelled so you are getting s by s square plus 144 okay this is the answer let's solve another problem if laplace of f of t this is equals to s plus 1 divided by s square plus 3s minus 1 find find laplace of f of 3t okay very simple actually what is f of s f of s equals to s plus 1 divided by s square plus 3s minus 1 this is our f of s you have to find out laplace of f of 3t okay so this is equals to very simple 1 by 3 f of s by 3 so this is equals to 1 by 3 into s by 3 plus 1 divided by s square by 9 plus 3 into s by 3 minus 1 just simplify this you will get 1 by 3 into so the numerator is s plus 3 divided by 3 whole divided by s square plus 9 s minus 9 divided by 9 so you are getting 1 by 3 into 3 into s plus 3 divided by s square plus 9s minus 9 3 3 cancelled so you are getting s plus 3 divided by s square plus 9s minus 9 okay this is the answer let's try another pro problem for inverse laplace transform find laplace inverse of 3s divided by 9s square plus 16 okay 3s divided by 9s square plus 16 actually here you can see that the variable s this is replaced by 3s yes or no here 3s and this is 3s whole square yes that means you can write that this is f of laplace inverse f of a s this is equals to 3 s divided by 3 s whole square plus 16 so obviously what is the value of a a is equals to 3 okay so tell me what is f of s what is f of s just you can write this is equals to s by s square plus 16 because you are telling that here s is replaced by uh, multiplying a scalar number 3 so you can replace 3 s by s okay so f of s equals to s by s square plus 16 and you know what is the laplace inverse of this laplace inverse of s by s square plus 16 this is nothing but cos of 40 okay this is cos of 40 so actually this is your f of t now question is laplace inverse f of a s this is equals to the formula is 1 by a f of t by a this is the formula so 1 by 3 you have to replace t by t by 3 so you are getting 
cos of cos of 4t by t this is the answer okay clear so first you have to calculate f of s uh, actually first you have to find out f of s okay then you have to find out f of t until you are not getting f of t you cannot use this formula yes that's why first i have uh, calculated what is f of s then after uh, finding f of s i have applied the laplace inverse operator and i am getting f of t then if, uh, apply scale property formula of inverse laplace transform so the final answer is 1 by 3 uh, cos of 40 by 3 okay this problem i have solved this problem using scale property actually you can solve this problem uh, using the simple concept of uh, basic basic concept of uh, laplace inverse okay basic nine formulas i have uh, told you in the first lecture of my uh, of my videos okay so let's try to understand this problem using the basic concept here the concept is laplace inverse 3s by 9s square plus 16 okay so if i take common 3 and 9 okay so this is equals to 3 by 9 laplace inverse s by s square plus 16 by 9 clear yeah. so you can write this is equals to 1 by 3 laplace inverse s by s square plus 4 by 3 whole square and you know the formula laplace inverse s by s square plus s square this is equals to 1 by 3 cos of 4 t by 3 okay so in this way you can solve uh, scale property problem actually scale property is very uh, easy and very simple okay so it is clear that you will not get any question from scale property but you will get some question where you have to apply the scale property okay that's why it is very very important but it is very easy and very simple thank you so much